Now, Positively Jack, spanning several southern states, a Navy veteran who lives here in Jacksonville gets word from his hometown. Yeah, someone found his class ring, and it's amazing to Travis Smith because he lost that ring 45 years ago. It was the early 70s, and this man worked lots of hours to be able to afford it. I was really happy when I was able to, you know, to buy it for myself. Uh, and, you know, I was, you know, really, really proud of it. Travis Smith showed me what his 1972 class ring looked like from his yearbook at Robert E. Lee High School in Tyler, Texas. Now Smith lives in Jacksonville, staying in the area after finishing his Navy career as an aviation electronics technician at Cecil Field. Smith somehow lost that ring only a year after graduation. Now it's coming home thanks to this man. Gold! Oh, my word! That thing is awesome! Nick Sweet in Tyler, Texas, yes. loves metal detecting and looking for what he calls sweet finds. He told me over Facebook it's been on his bucket list to find the class ring and return it. Sweet's checking that one off his list after locating this ring, which belongs to Smith. My sister also said, hey, there, hey, there's this guy on Facebook, he's posted that he's found uh, a Robert E. Lee high school ring. You know, it's from your year and everything. You can, you can take a look at it and see if, it, if it's yours. and. You know, he, the way he was describing it and everything like that, so, oh, yeah, that's got to be mine. Sweet went the extra mile in tracking down the ring's owner, and now Smith says his sister in Texas will yes. hold on to the ring until he sees her again this Man. fall. In the meantime, he's grateful for a good Samaritan of sorts back in his hometown. To me, it's just amazing that it, it even was found, and, you know, uh, and you know, such a conscientious guy. 1972. Oh. There's one more cool part to this story. June 30th was my birthday, and you know that's the day that he found it. So, what uh, a birthday present! That, that's a pretty good birthday present. We are working to get an interview with Nick Sweet there in Tyler, Texas. But he told me through Facebook Messenger tonight that in his search for the rightful ring owner, he said he was going to do whatever it took to find, in this case, Travis Smith.